Hi everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make any water heater smarter by using the Tuya Smart Switch so that you can achieve something like this. Hey Google, turn on the heater. Got it, turning the water heater on. Hey Google, turn off the heater. Okay, turning the water heater off. So over here we have the Tuya 20 ampere smart switch which we will be using to replace the existing water heater switch. Out of the box you get the switch itself. It comes with two pairs of mounting screws and also the user manual. I would say that the switch is quite well built and the button is a touch sensitive glass panel so you need to be extra careful while handling it. I'll link it down in the video description on where you can get one of these. And at the bottom you'll be able to find a notch which you can pry it open with a flat head screwdriver. This would remove the touch panel and expose the circuit board and as well as the cutout for your mounting screws. This is how it looks like inside the existing switch. If you have no experience with wiring up electrical circuits, I recommend that you engage a qualified electrician to do the installation for you and do not attempt this by yourself as it can lead to injury or even death. So this is what the end result looks like after we have wired it to the Tuya smart switch. There is two pairs of live and neutral wires. One connects to the source of electricity and the other connects to the water heater. All that is left is to mount the switch back into the enclosure with the mounting screws. I will now go over the details of setting up the Tuya Smart Switch. There are two apps which are available to us, that is the Tuya Smart and the Smart Life. I will be doing this demonstration using the Smart Life app, but the apps are pretty much identical. I have already done the initial registration with my email. So you can pause the video now and complete your registration before continuing. Go ahead and launch the app. Tap on add device. You can see a whole bunch of devices available for setup. Under the electrical category, look for a switch bracket Wi-Fi. Tap on that and select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. At this stage, you would need to set the Tuya Smart Switch into pairing mode. Over at the switch, long press the touch button for around 6 to 10 seconds. Just a note, you might need to attempt this a couple of times to get it into pairing mode. And once the light on the switch starts flashing rapidly, we can head back to the app and tap on next. This will start the pairing process. Once the pairing completes, you can give your heater a meaningful name in case you are already using the app for other IoT devices. The heater now appears on your home tab and you'll be able to turn on the heater straight from your mobile phone. But this is where it gets really interesting. The rest of the video would show you how you could enable voice control via Siri, Google Assistant, and create a schedule to turn on the water heater at a specific time of the day to suit your lifestyle. Navigate to the Smart tab. The first step is to create two actions, turning on and turning off the heater. Tap on the plus sign on the top right corner. Select Launch tab to run. Run the device and select the heater switch. Select switch 1 and follow by on. Hit save. Tap on next. Over here, you can customize this action, but for now, I am going to just modify the name and save it. We are going to repeat the same steps here, but this time to configure the turn off action.
configure Siri, tap Add to Siri, and set up the Siri shortcut for both actions and we are done. Now let's test it and see how it works. Hey, turn on the heater. Okay, done. Hey, turn off the heater. Okay, done. Now we will set up Google Assistant. Head over to the Me tab. In the third party voice services, you'll see a bunch of integrations that are available. Tap on Google Assistant and proceed to link it. I have the Google Home app installed on my phone, hence it redirected to the app seamlessly. It will prompt you to sign in with your Smart Life account which you have created earlier, so you can proceed to do that. Select Smart Life and authorize the access. The smart switch would show up and you can complete the setup on the Google Home app. You can now control the heater like how I did at the beginning of this video. Now we will set up the automation schedule for our heater. Once again, select the plus button. There are a few cool features where you can configure your IoT devices to trigger on certain events, such as weather changes or even based on your location. Feel free to explore and configure what suits you the best. For now, we will select schedule and select the time and day where you would want the heater to be turned on. Save it, and we are done. Repeat the same steps to schedule when you want the heater to be turned off. And from now on, you no longer have to worry about switching on or off your heater. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Do consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this one. And I'll see you next time.